This morning, a cloud of thick, dangerous ash is hovering, uh, is hovering rather, over parts of southern Chile. A volcano there erupted yesterday for the third time in about a week. This ash has forced the evacuation of people in a 12-mile radius around the mountain. Anna Werner shows us how the region faces another threat from Mother Nature today. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Gail. Well, for most of the week, the volcano was relatively quiet, but geological officials had warned it was still unstable and could erupt again. On Thursday, those predictions came true. The Calbuco volcano refused to let up Thursday, spewing another supersized plume of smoke and ash miles into the sky. Some villagers hadn't even finished cleaning up from last week's back-to-back -back eruptions when they were ordered to leave their homes once again. It's tough, this man said, because we had already removed all the volcanic material from the houses, so now to evacuate again is kind of hard. The volcano roared back to life last Wednesday after lying dormant for more than 40 years. Over the past week, a blanket of volcanic ash has coated nearby towns, choking the area's salmon industry and disrupting flights all the way to Argentina. So far, at least 6,000 people have been forced to evacuate, along with some pets. Many gathered at this shelter, unsure of exactly what they would go back to. We are a bit scared, this woman said, but as soon as this situation improves, I believe I'll be able to return to my house, God willing. Officials said this latest eruption wasn't as powerful as the first two. Still, they warn heavy rain expected today could lead to devastating volcanic mud, capable of destroying anything in its path. The eruptions have threatened to cause widespread and lasting economic damage. Some volcano experts say it could take the soil more than a year to recover and the volcano could still erupt again.